And while we don't know exactly what the president's going to say tonight, we do know who he has invited as his guests. And that's often the best clue to the messages he'll include in his speech. But the president's not the only one who can play that game. And the game is definitely on ahead of tonight's speech, as Alyssa Klink reports from our Washington Bureau. The president's guest box tonight will include people who survived opioid addictions, others who had family members killed by an undocumented immigrant, and a survivor of the Tree of Life synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. But they are just a few of the hundreds of guests who will watch in person tonight. The president may have a message for the nation, but various members of Congress have a message for him. They want to highlight these guests for political reasons. Each of the 530 members of Congress are entitled to one carefully selected guest at the State of the Union address. And Professor Mark Rahm at the Georgetown University School of Public Policy says there will be no shortage in political jabs this evening. President Trump is not going to pay any attention to anyone the Democrats bring. So he'll highlight those who support his goals in the State of the Union address. Not all the selections are political. Arizona Senator Martha McSally is hosting Isaiah Costa, a 19-year-old rapper who was born without a lower jaw. For Senator Kirsten Cinema, it's retired U.S. Air Force Major Brian Bouchard, who was also on her Veterans Advisory Council. Congressman Greg Stanton, a Democrat, is bringing Ellie Perez, who was the first DACA recipient employed by the city of Phoenix, while Republican Congressman Andy Biggs is countering with Art Del Cueto, an official with the Union for Border Patrol Agents. Rahm is not surprised by the differing guests, but said in a house divided, all presidents have abided by the same common theme. Well, I think presidents always try to get the same tone, which is a sense of optimism and a sense of unity. So they want to inspire the country that we're moving forward and we can move forward better together. President Trump may call for unity, but some Democrats will call him out for his policies. Their guests include dreamers and transgender veterans. And Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez will bring the protester who cornered then Arizona Senator Jeff Flake over Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. In Washington, Alyssa Klink, Cronkite News.